Oh, there we go. Welcome to the cooking gym, boy. Hey, y'all expect you're going to see me this week, huh? Hey, but I'm going to do something real, real original for you. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all watch this channel. There's a lot of people out there cook. But it's kind of original because, I mean, if you got Thanksgiving and y'all had a Thanksgiving party, you got all this turkey over, leftover and all like that. You know, you chop it up, you make your turkey salad or you make a tuna salad. If you got some chicken or something, you make a, a chicken salad. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. But I'm going to show you another easy recipe that most people don't think about doing because we had a steak party the other night and I had some ground beef hamburger patties we cooked. Had a lot of stuff left over, so we froze it. So, what you think I'm going to do with that? A beef salad. Man, what? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Come in, let me show you how you can do that there. Now, I took my steak. I don't care if it's T-bone, ribeye, whatever. You dice it up, you know what I'm saying, and you freeze it. But when you're ready to make something with it, ground beef in there. And you just take it, put it in the bowl. Hey, it's leftovers. Then you cut you some onions up. I got me a, a couple of eggs here diced up. I got me some celery. I got me some mustard, mayonnaise, some sweet radish, salt, and black pepper. And we're going to make a beef salad. Boy, a beef salad. I'm telling you. Hey, I'm the cooking general, man. Hey, I don't waste nothing. I let people know, hey, this is something easy you can do. Except, you know... Throwing it away, whatever you gotta do, hey, do that there. Some people feed it to the dog. But anyway, we ain't. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do this here. We tell people, keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch nothing, because Cookie Jump's gonna do it right now. Cookie Jump! Absolutely! Oh, welcome back to the Cookie Jump. Hey, man. Hey, this, oh, I'm telling you, a beef salad. So I'm pretty good. Now come on, let me show you what to do. Now, here we go. Now, we got our mayonnaise and mustard, okay? And you gotta say it, I'm not gonna do everything on, on, on front of the camera because I'm gonna have to stop, taste, stop, and taste, but I'm just trying to get you, give you the basics of what I do. And then you can make it how you want it and add what you want to add to it. I'm gonna have to get some more mayonnaise, but uh, I'm gonna put a little bit in there. But you basically get what I'm doing. And then you want, you know what I'm saying, if you like more mustard, I like more a little bit more mayonnaise, but we're going to put some mustard on it like that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put this in and let it cool down in the icebox too because it's like I said, it's a beef salad. And then we got onions right here. We're going to put them in there because I know exactly how much onions I need. That's why I cut them up before. Alrighty. Now, I got my eggs. We'll put them in there. And I'm going to add a little celery. I don't like, you can add more celery. And another thing too, I made it one time, but the people who are going to eat this here, they don't too much care for uh, red pepper, so I didn't add no red or cayenne pepper to it. But if you want a little more spicy, you can add that to it. Then I'm going to add me some of this sweet radish. I know how much I need on that. Okay, I might add a little bit more after I taste it. Just a pinch of salt. And then but you make sure you taste it now. You don't want to over season because the steak was already cooked with season and the, the hamburger patties that I kind of you know, ground them up after nobody you know, we had some hamburger left over. And I'm using that on there too, so and some black pepper, like that there. And now, I know it's gonna need more than that there. You know it's gonna need more than that, but I just cannot film it for that, because I, I, I'm i the cooking judge. I ain't no chef. Now, if I was a chef, I, I ask somebody. Oh, there we go, cooking judge. We finished this here, boy. Woo, man, I'm telling you. Man, tell them to get that turkey, that chicken, and that tuna. Come on, let me show you this beef salad, man. Boy, check it out here. It's, it's the same thing. Leftovers, don't throw them away. Make you a beef salad. Look at that. Now, you can serve yourself some crackers, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm eating mine, you know what I'm saying? A few pickles on there. You know, you can also, you know what I'm saying, uh, serve it on bread. It, it's good either way. And another thing you could do too, which I didn't really tell y'all, add your piece of sugar in there, you know what I'm saying? You know, so just a pinch of sugar if you want a little sweetness to it, and a little cayenne pepper if you want a little spice to it. No, I'm showing y'all the basics. I'm just a general. I ain't no chef. I'm showing you the basics of how to do this here right. Cook it, man. I mean, come on, y'all. Who's the man? Who's the man? Who's the woman? Who's the man? Who's the woman? You better ask somebody. No, you better ask somebody. 